So welcome to this latest episode of Success Sunday and in this video, I am going to be interviewing one of my personal graduates, Natalie Bailey, and in just a short space of time, Natalie has completed on five rent-to-rent -rent serviced accommodation deals and is working on a commercial conversion that's going to give her 1.1 million pound profit. So if you want to know how to become a property millionaire, then this session is definitely for you. Liam, I'm the co-founder of Assets for Life and you are watching this video because you have an interest in property, in business, in entrepreneurship. So if you are new to this channel, please hit subscribe and the notification bell immediately because I want you to stay tuned for more videos. Now in this video, I'm gonna be interviewing Natalie. She's one of my personal one-to-one -one graduates. She's been through the Assets for Life training programs. She is doing amazingly well and we're gonna be asking her the questions that will ultimately give us the information on what you need to know to start, scale and grow your business. We're going to be finding out all about the ups and downs of her journey and exactly where she is right now. Natalie, Hello. hey lovely to have you here, give us a big hug. Thanks for having me. <laughs> I've been so, so looking forward to doing this Success Sunday with you. So thanks for coming down to Mark's Take Colchester, we've got one of our events on. Um, the Property Millionaires Bootcamp. You've sort of been on our advanced training um, over the last sort of 12, 18 months. So look, tell all the viewers, who are you, where you're from, and why did you initially take the step in becoming a property investor? Very good questions. <laughs> I'm Natalie Bailey, obviously. I'm based in Mallorca, but I'm from London. So I started the property journey with my mum, Paula Bailey. Um, she still lives in London. So I spend a lot of time there. Um, so you travel backwards and forwards, yeah? Yeah. So you're between here and Mallorca. Between here and Mallorca. Um, great. Lots of air miles. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Which is great. Good. Yeah. So, but why did you get into property initially? Um, to be honest, it was my mum. Um, my mum, Paula, she's been interested in property, I think, forever. And we went to an event and we realised that it was something that we could both do together. Um, because I'd been away, we hadn't been really spending time together and my nan had gotten ill um, and when she passed away we realized that life was too short mm. and we really wanted to reconnect yeah. so we thought what better way to do that than to build a business and make a load of money lovely good so, so you got into property initially and I know that you had some property training um, before you met me yep. And for whatever reason, that property training was a bit slow. You didn't quite get the information. Uh, for whatever reason, it just didn't work for you. And then I appeared and entered into your life. And um, you ended up coming on some training with Assets for Life. And ultimately, you became one of my personal one-to-one -one clients, didn't you? Yes. How long have we been now working together? It's been so long. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I've known you forever. Yeah. Um, I think it's been about 18 months now um, like, that we've been really going Yeah, like on, on point, on haven't point, we? Yeah. Yeah. And, what, and what have you found has been the benefits of being mentored by me and the Assets for Life team? It's the, it's the right support and having, knowing you've got someone to go to when things go wrong or rather when things go right as well. It's having people to share success with. Mm. Obviously, working with my mum, we have each other, but as we were new, we didn't know the answers. So we, and that's why in the beginning it didn't work. We were spending three weeks trying to find the answer to something. No one was holding your hands. Yeah. yeah. So and that's what you really needed, wasn't it? You yeah. needed hand holding. Yeah. And, and I recommend this to everyone. The quickest way to build a business, the quickest way for wealth, mm -hmm. is to go and find the person that's doing what you want them to do, pay them to go on their course, mm -hmm. and then ultimately pay them for mentorship. Suck them dry, and you've definitely been there, you know, zapped me of all my information, which has been brilliant. And then, of course, you need to implement. You're definitely a big action taker, and you've had some ups and downs, and we're going to explore those ups and downs over the course of this interview. But when you first got into property, when I first started to train you, uh, what was your primary strategy? What did you and your mum want to focus on? Our primary strategy in the beginning was rent to rent, serviced okay. accommodation nice. um, for cash flow, basically. Yeah. And 
It was slow and difficult to begin with, but it was the consistent action and the hand-holding thereafter that made yeah. things work. Okay, cool. So rent to rent service accommodation. You live in Mallorca, your mum lives in London. Where did you end up building a service accommodation business? In Manchester. In Manchester, <laughs> cool. So not within 60 minutes of where you live, for sure, which is ideally what we teach. However, there are caveats to that. And it's, it's well, it, you know, you can go and build a property business anywhere in the UK. You just got to understand there's some upsides and some downsides. So you got your first SA, you got your second SA. How many SA units do you now have in the portfolio? Five. Now. So you got five now. That's really good going. And they're rent to rent serviced accommodation units, aren't they? Yeah. How did you find those deals? We found them through other people sources. other sources yeah basically okay. um up in the area they know the area nice. and obviously we've been and, that, and that's really important for people watching this to know you can invest anywhere in the uk you haven't necessarily got to spend all your time in that location what you've got to do is team up with people in that location that can look after you find your good deals and then ultimately you can pay a sourcing fee. Now, in order to get some of these deals up and running, what would you say was two or three of your biggest challenges and how did you overcome these challenges? Firstly, it was figuring out how it, how it would work, like what are the intricacies of serviced accommodation and what, what will the return be, like will it work for us? So spending that time doing that due diligence and like really having to figure that bit out, that was a challenge. But then once you've figured that out and you've got past, past that, you know it, okay, so you good. can replicate it, yeah, so which yeah. is really important. Um, having the right team okay, cool. is really important. Um, the team that manage our SAs up there, they went through some changes um, with their team but now their team's fantastic and it all works so it's finding the right people to work Finding the with. right people and then also it's like allowing those people to also have their challenges yeah. and ups and downs and working with them isn't it mm -hmm. yeah that's really good um, and so you got there now and then what did you want it to do obviously look you didn't you know you have not gone and done 10 essays you've done five what is now your primary strategy? What's really your dream in property? The real exciting stuff for us is commercial conversions. Yeah. So mum and I, we're on a mission to combat loneliness through creating community. Lovely. And our message is better together. Because people need people. And yeah. obviously you know that in property as well by looking after so many of us. And so commercial conversions was something we wanted to do from the beginning, but we knew we had to get the cash flow in, in place. So now we've done that. Now we can focus 100% on finding the commercial deals, nice. which is exactly what we've just done. Nice. So commercial conversions. So you've done one commercial deal that you're working on right now. Is that correct? Yeah. yeah. And uh, how does that commercial conversion deal look? Like, where is it? Yeah. Obviously, don't give the address just yet, but where is it? Um, how many square foot? Yeah. Uh, is it an office? Is it a pub? Talk what is it? Yeah. Deal. Okay. So it's in um, Suffolk. Nice. It's a 20,000 square foot former care home. Wow, <laughs> wow. Um, you haven't just started with a small deal, have you? You've just gone like all out, 20,000 square foot. Go big or go home, right? Go big or go home, that is my motto. Yeah, I do teach that, yeah, so. <laughs> wow. Um, yeah, so, yeah, former care home, 20,000 square foot. We're going to convert it to 30 units. Um, so did you buy it with planning permission? No. Okay. Um, we went a bit outside of the grain there, but we know we've got the right support to help us. Okay. Um, we've got a fantastic planning consultant. Brilliant. So a good, um, strong power team. Good power team. Nice. We're already, we've been in talks with the council for the past however many months anyway. Nice. So we know they're really keen because we bought it from the council. So yeah, having the right team there has just been phenomenal. So, so how many apartments are you going to get in there? 30. So 20,000 square foot, 30 apartments. Yeah. Now, did you follow my system, the no money down blueprint? Have you used your own money for this deal yeah. or is it a completely no money down deal? Completely no money in for Wow, yeah. wow. So we raised... Um, so talk us through the numbers. How, what's the purchase price? What's the GDV? What's the profit? How much did you raise from investors for the equity part of the deal? So we've got investor for the equity and we've currently raised about 270. We're just about to add some more to that. And how much do you need for the equity part of the deal? The equity part is 410. Okay, so you're just chipping that away that. for now. You're yeah. almost there, aren't you? Yeah, yeah nearly there. Good. Um, then um, 
the GDV will be 5.5 and we're looking at 25% profit. Yeah, so that's going to give you what, about 1.1? 1 .1? 1 .1. 1 .1 million pound profit on that deal. Yes. Now here's a big question, right? Is that 1.1 million all yours or are you having to share that with 50-50 with an investor? No, that's all ours. That's all yours. So that must tell me that you've raised the money on loan agreements. So the 400,000 coming in is purely on loans. You're giving what, 10, 12% return on that, okay? And then the rest of the money that's needed is coming from development funders. Is that correct, yeah? And in order to get the development funding, have you teamed up with an existing developer? Yes. That's got more credibility, because this is your first deal, yeah, deal yeah, so and to get development funding on 5.5 million pounds would be very difficult. Yeah, exactly. So you've teamed up with a developer, which is really good, so you've yeah. brought them in with you. And that's great, you know, we love collaborating and teaming up with people. When you found this deal, and the moment you exchanged on this deal, like how, how, how do you feel? Um, it was a kind of sigh of relief, to be honest. Yeah. It had been so stressful. And like getting it over the line. Over the line. It, just, it just, everything that could have gone wrong went wrong. Okay, cool. So then when we finally exchanged, we were actually on the plane on the way to Cayman right. and we got the email through and our partners were also on a different plane on the way to Cayman and we exchanged while we're on. So you exchanged on the plane going to Cayman Islands. Yeah. Awesome, eh? that is fantastic. Yeah, so we, we so had a wine. Yeah, we, we, we celebrated, yeah, yeah definitely yeah, on the plane. The no, no, I was able to walk off. <laughs> now, looking back to when I started to first meet, when I started mentoring you and giving you all this help and support and encouragement, did you think for a second that you'd be involved with a deal like this, 5.5 million, making, literally becoming a millionaire in one deal? No, no. <laughs> not, not from one deal. And obviously the system is built up yeah. and we have you know, gone, gone big um, immediately. I've got this belief that I'm meant for bigger and better things and commercial conversions was what we wanted to do. But in terms of like from one deal, absolutely not. Wow, it's no. good, isn't it? It's life changing this stuff. And this is why anyone watching this video now, you can go from where you are now to where you want to go in literally just a handful of property deals. Mm -hmm. You've got the cash flow, you're now full-time in property, you're a big part of Assets for Life, you're, you're learning how to speak now, you've got an online coaching program. What's the what's your Facebook group, Natalie, for coaching? Oh, it's uh, Better Together for a Gold Star Life. Nice. And it's all about uh, building confidence, confidence mastery, um, releasing my podcast. Are you? Yeah. Hey, that's so cool, yeah? So you're building a media company now around you, you're building a brand, mm -hmm. yeah, you're a fantastic confidence coach, like literally one of the best in the UK. So anyone watching this, make sure you hook Natalie up for sure. What's next for you guys in property? More deals, okay, cool. yeah, more deals, more money. More deals, more money, <laughs> um, better life. Better life, it's not just that, it's what we can do with it. Yeah. It's, it's creating that, that lifestyle, but also being able to give back want to be able to do more to help more people that's Lovely. like the combating loneliness is really important and a lot of that comes from people not being confident enough to go and meet people and build those relationships mm. and it's if i can do that if i can do deals like this other people can come out of their shells and build a business and build a better life so i just want to do more yeah basically. good do more help more give more serve and solve yeah. And do, do you feel that, and I want you to answer this honestly, do you feel that having me and Jay mentoring you has transformed your life? Do you feel you've got massive value from us? Do you honestly believe that we've supported you and helped you and played a massive part in your success? How do, how do you feel we've helped you? Definitely helped. If it wasn't for having that support, one wouldn't know what to do with a lot of things. Sometimes you get a bit emotional and things go wrong and you're like, ugh. <laughs> <laughs> and you've had a few tears. Yeah. I've had your calls. I know. So it's because uh, things are scary. Yeah. It's a scary world out there. But yeah. you and Jay have really helped. Jay's knowledge and numbers is like second to none. Lovely. So being able to go through spreadsheets and numbers and co the contacts as well. It's not just, you know, helping the moment. It's the, the ongoing, the contacts. But so look. Anyone watching this video, what are your words of wisdom to them? What advice would you give them? What would you say to them? You know, people that are watching this, thinking of coming, hanging out with me and my business partner, Jay, going on advanced training, getting to one of our events. What would you say to anyone who's thinking of getting into property or want to scale an existing business? Just do it. Just do it. Just yeah. do it. Nice. Yeah, it's scary. But if you don't do it, if you don't 
take that step, then you'll never move on. And if you want a different life, you have to do something different. And like, I'm living proof of being able to change your life. And if I can do that, other people can do that. It's just be consistent, have the control over yourself and your emotions and make sure that you're doing what needs to be done. Like sometimes you do need your hand held, but ask for help, get it and action on it immediately. Because otherwise you're just gonna continue to live an existence and life's for living. Right? Cool, nice, life's for living, yeah. Well, it's been wonderful working with you for 18 months. You are an asset for life and we are gonna be working with you for many, many years to come. Keep up the great work. Um, keep doing the things that you're doing. It's just wonderful to see you grow. I'm really proud of you. I'm really proud of your mum. So a big shout out to Paula Bailey as well. We want to say, hey, hey, Paula Bailey. Big shout out to you as well because she is part of the team. And uh, yeah, give us a big hug. Thank you very much. Well done. Congratulations, Cheers. all right? So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. An amazing interview with Natalie Bailey and a big shout out to her mum as well, Paula Bailey. They have been absolutely fantastic to work with over the last 18 months. I've now gone and trained so many people to financial freedom. The training I offer is world class. The support I will give you is world class. And when you join Assets for Life, you're joining a family. We are gonna give you a hug when you need a hug. We're gonna give you a kick when you need a kick. We're gonna give you the system. We're gonna give you the knowledge. We're gonna get you in the right mindset. Hey, you hang around with me, I will turn you into a money machine. I'm really good at mentoring people. I'm really good at training. So what you need to do now is watch one of my videos, another video, and you need to click the link in the description and you need to get along to one of our up and coming events and you can grab a ticket now completely free of charge. If I can do it, if Natalie can do it, you can definitely do it. So I'll see you in the next video.